this is our cancan net, our hard net that will be under the gun that will be pleating on our lining. So I already measured it by five and a half. You can do it by five inches. I did it by five and a half, so I'll sew on half inch, so it will be five inches left. If I just rule the line like this, this is the mark, so I'll cut this. But if I cut this, I could just make several markings like this in the end of the cancan -can net if I want to use all. So I'll, when I've measured this now, just cut it out. So I can decide to cut this out, then place it and be cutting more, or I can decide to, as I've made this now, rule this line five and a half or two. I can place my tape on the same five on this place now on five and a half and then mark new lines, rule it, then I'll do the same thing all through. The can can net I've cut out. So I have eight, eight pieces here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can do as much as possible, whatever uh, uh, number comes out from your net from your net you bought. So this is it. Then for the length, it doesn't matter the whatever length the Canker comes with as well. So I'll be pleating this net now on the skirt. Don't forget we drew lines on the skirt before now. So I'll be I'll be pleating it on these lines. One, two, three, these three lines. So what I'll just do is place one of the canker nets like this. Take it to your sewing machine. For those using needle and trade, this is your needle and trade. Place it like this. But don't start the canker from this beginning point on the first. On the first line because we'll be, we'll be adding zip from the gown and the zip will get to some part of the skirt so wherever the skirt zip is stopping that's where you place it so just leave one inch before you start your can can net for the for the top line but for the down you can start from the edge no problem if you want to or you can still do all the same thing then this zipper allowance will be closing the net so whichever is better for you so just place it like this and then as you're sewing just be pleating just be pleating like this so on this uh, on this uh, on each line this first line i'll be using two lengths of this net so i'll just pleat, be pleat as i'm pleating i'm sewing on it too i'll pleat when you get to the end you don't need to join the canker net whatever you pleat and then you get to the end just fold it and pleat whenever you get to the end here yeah, you can now place another new canker on it just like this on it Place, place it like this again continue to the end of this line then for the second line so what i want to do is for this first line i'll be using two canker length of two canker nets then for this next one i'll be using three then the last line i'll be using three as well or four so that is how i'm going that's what i'm going to do i'll be using three for both lines one two I'll, this one i'll use three length of canker net three length of canker net i'll use two so when i'm done you see what it looks like so this is the pleats. I started with the last line and then I continue with the next line. So I'll be ending with the first line, the one on at the waist side. I started with this side because it's easier to place it in the machine from here to here and then to this part. If I start with here, I right now to place this side, I have to be putting the net into this part of the machine to sew this side. So it's easier to start from the under. But whatever way that is better for you is okay. So these are the pleats. You can see the pleats. I pleated net. These are three lines of net. These are three lines of net as well. So I'll be pleating two lines here. So if you do, for if you don't know how to pleat, well, I have a class, beginners class, starting soon, where you learn how to pleat, different type of pleats, different type, and then to make your gathers and all of that. You could join how to add zip to your dress and all of that. You could join the class and then learn that. So I want to just show you the process. This mark here, this notch mark. Don't forget is the zip allowance where the zip will be stopping. So when by the time we join this part of the upper body, it will flow for the zip. So this is how you place it. I'm not placing on the starting point. I left one inch, the zipper allowance one inch, and I'll just fold it like this. Then place on my machine. On that line now, don't forget we have a line of following. You just place it. So, so you just keep folding. Fold like this and make sure you follow the line don't go, go out of the line the line is a curved line so make sure you stay on it so this is out of place I want to show you something now this is where the first this net I, I was splitting just now ended so I have to join the other net now just take the other net and then 
fold it inward like this then place it on top raise your machine then place it on top like this and then sew so this is how to join two nets together so you just continue your plating till you finish the net or till the end of this of the skirt but don't forget this plating is on the lining and not on the main skirt now the cancan net so we attach the cancan net to our lining you can see the back of the lining so attach it nicely so here you can see the sewing is straightforward so the next thing we'll be doing now is joining the parts of our body so that we can join it to the skirt and our gown is ready so this net now is serving as uh, this part now is serving as the basket you know for the for the ready made ready made clothes the import you see that most times it has basket underneath so since we don't have basket this is serving as our basket to pull the net the net or the ball gun up and this is beautiful so this is how it's going to be inside the skirt to pull it out so let's make our upper part thank you thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed the content don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe to our channel to get updated when we drop the follow-up tutorial bye bye